All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Hello Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, you can see I got this um, thumbnail up, this picture up. And um, it's perfect for the um, the lesson that I'm about to uh, bring out. All right. I'm not sure what I'm going to title it yet, but it's um, something something along the lines of being a napkin niggard. Okay. Which I got a couple of scriptures I'm going to go into straight to the point. We know them all. All right. But um, I thought this image was perfect because um, <laughs> first and foremost, you got a so-called Jake. He appears to be a Jake. Right. And he has the, he's he's clutching that napkin. And, um, you know, I was thinking about um, how he does. He, he ain't got no fucking he's got a bald head, which, you know, he no beard on his face. Typical, typical Jake in the world, you know, knows the truth, but he's not doing what the Lord told him to do. He's being a hero, but not a doer. All right. He's not uh, paying it forward. He's not studying. He just, you know, being entertained. He just knows he's an Israelite, you see. And he, he thinks he, he thinks he's working for it. You see, they got a, a Edomite, a Edomite female, Shedomite on the screen. You know, he thinks he's working for uh, the white man or, or, or the white woman. Like Elder Apostle Gabar says, we're working for the for the supreme ruler of the universe. All right. Yahabashim Yahawashai. He's an austere man and he's the ultimate Jake, man. He's a man of war. He's a jealous power. You know, <laughs> you're working for the ultimate boss, man. You ain't working for the white man. You ain't working for um, Esau Edom, the white woman. You see? You see? So I thought this, this image was fitting. I was trying to look for an image of a, a Jake with a napkin in his hand, you know? <laughs> but this one is good enough. You, you, who you think you're working for? Who you Jake th think you're working for, man? The white man? You're working for the ultimate Jake, the ultimate boss of bosses, man. You see? And he's an austere man, and we, we understand that. But two-thirds of our people have no idea who they're dealing with. They still, they, 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 they got a Christian mind frame of the Lord, man. You know, a false perception of the Lord. The Lord, man, the Lord is an austere man. Look that word up. He don't take no, no, uh, he not going to want your excuses in them day. You know, you know, to obey is to, uh, better to give the sacrifice of fools. That's what uh, 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 Samuel told Saul, you know, you know. This is Luke 19, and uh, like I said, the, the, the image was fitting, I thought. Uh, Luke 19 and 12. I'm not going to make this long, you know. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman, nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. We are the Lord's watchmen, chiefly you men. I'm talking about you men, you able-bodied men. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You're not retarded. You not. You ain't got no disabilities. No. No. No life. You know. No. Um. Life changing. Uh. Disabilities where you can't get out there and prophesy, man. Even uh, doing videos. You. You could do something, man. There's much work to be done. You see. You see. But a lot of you are playing games. You bullshitting. You think you can run game with the Lord. You think you can deceive the Lord. You think you can trick the Lord. The Lord is watching you, man. The angels are watching you. And you don't even understand that the Lord is angry with you every day, man, because you're being lukewarm. You're being a napkin, nigger. You're, you're, you're taking this talent and you're hiding it. You're sitting upon it. You see, the Lord is going to jack your ass up, man. He's going to jack you up. Repent, man. Hey, seeing that it was in your mind to go astray, be in return, seek the Lord ten times more, man. Be on fire for the Lord. You see, especially, can't you see that the end is coming? We're not going to be out there teaching much longer. You know, store you up some righteous works, man. It says, and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds. That because each of us got a, a portion of the spirit. You know, there's levels of things, man. But whatever, whatever your portion is, flip it, man. And 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 pray and 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 do what you gotta do. Uh, and Lord's will, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai will increase you, man. You see, you see. Now ain't the time to be just uh you know, lackadaisical. Look that word up. You know, 
A lot of you jakes are in a lackadaisical spirit, man. And the Lord going to spew your ass out. Okay? He called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Because this is your number one priority. This truth. But his citizens hated him. Most of Jake, most of our people, man, they don't, they want to hear smooth things. They want to they wanna rest. They don't want to labor. They don't want to fight. They don't want to push. You see? You see? They, they're full of excuses. They're full of shit, man. That's why I call them the two-thirds. Two-thirds of you are full of shit, man. You don't really love your Habashim Yahushai. You don't really want this place to be destroyed. How do we know that? Because you ain't on fire. You, you ain't doing the Lord's will. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. Yeah, that's what, he, that's what they said, man. They said, crucify Yahushai, man. Give us Barabbas. Let the sins fall upon us and our children. And guess what? You're back in that lot to receive your judgment. It says, and it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, because Yahushai Hamashiach already got the victory. It is done. He already con he, he, he conquered death, man. We're just right in the spiritual realm. Everything is in complete order. You see? we just waiting on Yahweh to give the green light so that it'll manifest in, 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 in this realm. Okay? You see? But, but Vic, we already got the victory, man. You see? And it came to pass that when, that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded, he commanded, we're servants, man. All right? You know? We're servants. We're soldiers. You know? Endure hardness as a good soldier, man. No excuses. Especially not now, man. And it came to pass that when he was returned, that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, that he commanded these servants to be called unto him. Because Yahweh Yahushai is coming to make an inquisition to see what you've been doing in this earth, how you've been conducting yourself, man. You see? What you've been doing with your grace, your liberty. You see? A lot of you are abusing the Lord's ways. You see? You really loathe the law. You hate the Lord. And that's why you're going to have to get through the kingdom through death by pain. You see? You fools. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, the talent, the oil, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, who the Lord had been supping with. He'd been showing you things. He'd been working on your mind. The angels been showing you things, working on your mind. You know? And you've just been... Uh, Putting the Lord on the back burner, you know, putting the work on, on, on the back burner. Yo, you'll get to it when you get to it. You see, the Lord going to spew your ass out, man. You know, the Lord going to get the Lord. The Lord don't need none of us, man. You see, he could raise up stones. You see, you see. It says, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. So you got to get out there, man. You got to get active. You got to flip this, flip whatever you know, you got to flip it, you know, pay it forward. Then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound have gained 10 pounds. And he said, because we've entered into other men's labor, you know, also, you know, we all got to show the same diligence. It says, and he said unto him, well, thou good servant, because thou has been faithful in very, in a very little, because you, how much of shy is doing the heavy lifting, man. The Lord said his yoke is light, man, you know, you know. In the it, it's a, it's it's a heavy load. It's it, it's you know it, it's a lot. It's a straight gate. It's a position of difficulty. It's oh you know it's narrow, or dangerous path. Only one man can tread it. But at the end of the day, Yahweh Shai is not gonna put more on you than you can bear. He's always gonna uh, have a way for you to escape. You know he he's he's working with his men, man. You know he's doing the heavy lifting. You know, but you 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 got you gotta put you, you know you gotta give effort also, man. You know, you know, you got to work to allow the Lord to work, man. You see, it says, and he said unto them, well, and he said unto them, well, thou good servant, because thou has been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over 10 cities. Because that's what we're really fighting for. We're fighting to be the, we're looking to be the ruling class in the kingdom, man. You know, all, all, at the end of the day, all the Yasharala is going to be good. All the Yasharala is going to be saved, you know, in an everlasting salvation world without end, right? You know, but only the elect are going to um, make it at this particular go around and the elect are going to be the first fruits, the ruling class. You see, you see. So it says, and the second came saying, Lord, thy pound have gained five, five pounds. It don't matter what, man, just flip it, man. It don't matter how much, just, just bring in fruit, man. Don't, you know, the Lord, the, you, the, uh, 
um, all you're doing is planting the seed. Your how butchering your shy is giving the increase. You see? You see, and the word of the Lord ain't going to go out void. It's going to accomplish that which he pleaseth. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. This is the main point. And he came saying, Lord, and it's like, and another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. You see that napkin in the garden. You see, that's why I had that image up, you know, <laughs> you, you ain't, you ain't that, 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 you know, that gift, that portion that you had, you're going to, you know, you buried it, you know, you, th you think you're going to be good with the Lord, you know, no, the Lord, you ain't, you ain't working for the white man. You ain't working for the white woman. You working for an austere man, the king of terrors, man, Allah Shadja, a terrible demon like power who demands perfection. You see, you see, and you know that. But you being, you, you still being willfully ignorant. You still being a sluggard. You still being lukewarm. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. And another came saying, Lord, out of one, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou laidest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. You see? Look up what austere means. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taken up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou, me, thou my money into the bank, that I may come, that at my coming, and he's, he's coming, he's, he's, that day's quickly approaching, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury with interest you got to flip it pay it forward man you know you know feed the lord's sheep go out there to the lanes man bid them to the marriage give them warning from me that's what the lord said you see don't don't hide it man you know let that light shine man warn the people feed feed the people you know with this sound doctrine this truth comfort them you know with the words of your how much you shy you see you know, do the work, man. You know, the hour coming, the night coming, no man worketh, man. You see? You see? It says, uh, and he said unto them, that's, um, wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury. And then he said unto them that stood by, take from him the pound, and give it to him that have ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For, for I say unto you that unto every one which hath shall be given. And from him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. Um, but those mine enemies, because you're really an enemy of the Lord. If you're not doing, if you're not with them, you're against them. If you're not with us, you're against us. Ain't no in-betweens, ain't no gray areas. If you believe your work, you have faith, your works are going to show it. You see? You see? But those mine enemies and two thirds of our own people are enemies. They're liars. They're hypocrites. You know, they're they're full of shit, man. You see, you see. But those mine enemies, you're really enemies of the Lord. You hate the Lord. You're ashamed of the Lord. You're offended in this truth and this gospel. You know, you you trying to add and take away from the scriptures. You're not bringing out the whole truth. You know, you see. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay before me. Because we're not bringing out our words, our thoughts. You know, these are the, these are the thoughts and intentions of our power. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You see, we are just the messengers, the mouthpiece. We're giving you warning from him. You see? I'm going to close out here. So, hey, again, we, you don't want to be this guy, man. You know? You know? Just knowing you're an Israelite, you know? And thinking you're going to be safe in that day. You're not, man. You're not. You're not. You ain't working for the white man. You're not working for the white woman. You're working for an austere man, the king of terrors. And he's a jealous power. And he's jealous over us, Yasharallah, his people. Okay, I'm going to close out here. Um, Close out here. We know it. Luke 12 and... Luke 12 and... Forty-two. And the Lord Adawan said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household? Again, we're looking to be the ruling class, man. We're looking to be joint ears with Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. You see? And that's why we're given diligence to make our calling and election sure. You know? Making our bodies a living sacrifice upon this altar daily. You know? 
offending less, putting on as the elect. Who then is that faithful and wise steward? Whom his Lord, those, that, those five wise uh, virgins that had oil in their lamp, you know, five were foolish, five were wise. We want to be wise, okay? We want to have oil in our lamp. We want to have our lamp trimmed, burning bright, you know, you know, ready to meet the Lord when he comes, you know? When that light comes to shine upon us, we want to, we want to be found worthy, you know? Not trying to, you know, hide shit, sweep shit under the bed, you know? <laughs> trying to crawl back into the darkness, no. You know, you know, we want to be right with the Lord. That's why we're given diligence daily. <laughs> Who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season? Yeah, this isn't our kingdom. This, you know, our kingdom is coming. Our rest is coming. You know, you know, now is the time to fight, push. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord out of one, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Because, hey, contrary to popular belief, your life is not your own. We were bought with a price. Who bought us? Yahweh Shai bought us back. Because Yahweh gave us a bill of divorce. Yahweh Shai bought us back with his blood, man. Okay, and, and the price is what? Obedience. You know? Obedience. You know, this is the condition of the battle. We got to get out there, carry that cross, pay it forward, push this truth. You know, confess the Lord, herald him in. Warn the people. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. Yes, yeah, seek the kingdom and everything else is going to be added unto you, man. Everything you lose on this side, you're going to get it back a hundredfold, man. A hundred and forty-four thousand fold, you know. And the, the Yahweh Shai said, in my father's house, there's many mansions, man. You know, we're going to be good, man, you know. And like I said, the, the night, the hour come when, when no man worketh. We're not going to be out here pushing much longer. We're going to go to a whole other phase, you know. The Habashim Yahushai is truly going to lift up that standard, you know. And that's what we want, man. That spiritual power, you know, that that the protection, the down. We want to see the downfall of our enemies, you know. All these things are drawing nigh, man, you know. But but now is the time to, 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 to fight, man, and push, and, you know. Store up these righteous acts. But, and if that servant say in his heart, that's what a lot of you say, man. You put the day of the Lord off. You're saying this, man. You're saying it, man. You know, and how do we know you're saying it? Through your actions. You know, you, your actions, man. You're not on fire. You're lukewarm. You're playing games. You're lackadaisical. You know, you're lollygagging. The Lord going to spew your ass out, man. But, and if that servant say in his heart, in your mind, you're lob, you know, my Lord delayeth his coming. Yeah, I got another two years here, man. I'm good. I got another three years. I got another 20 years here. You know, that's that's the wrong spirit to be in. You're supposed to be hastening the coming, you know, praying for a few days, man, you know. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord, delay of his coming, and shall begin to beat the men's servants and maidens, why, you ain't really feeding them. You don't care about the sheep no more. You've become a hireling. You care about your own belly more than feeding the Lord's sheep. You see, now the, the sheep is starving, they getting all type of uh, uh, poison, poison milk, you know, they ain't getting sound doctrine, you know, they're not getting, you know, <laughs> you don't even give a damn, you lack sedation, you don't care what you're teaching, you don't even give a damn if you miss a day, you don't care, you don't care about the Lord, you don't care about the sheep, you don't care about nothing but yourself, you see, because what you, 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 you're not thinking about your latter end, you're not thinking that the Lord watching you, you're not thinking, you're not, you're not considering, you see. You think you're going to be good. You think you're in a good case. You see? Thy fool. But, and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delay of his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink and to be drunken, yeah, you go back into the world. You know? You, you go back into the world and you're living, living a life, man. You know? The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, because he took the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai going to take the the memory of of, of his of his, of him coming. He going to take that whatever you have. He going to take it from you. He going to take it. You, you going he going he just going to block that. He going to block. He going to seal it up. It's going it's going to come back. Everything going to come back. You going to be brought back to remembrance in that day when the Lord returns, when that judgment is upon your ass. But for now, the Lord is going. Gonna take whatever he gave you, whatever truth he have, and cast you out and cast your ass out into outer darkness. Okay, 
and that day you're going to clean forget about the day of the lord you're going to clean forget about the rfid microchip you're going to clean forget about jacob's trouble you're going to clean forget about all the hell that's coming and then when it comes guess what it's going to be too late you're going to be looking to get back on the right side of the lord you're going to be looking to dust your garment off to get out there and hit, hit the highways and the byways and guess what it's going to be too late it's going to be too late the lord going to shut the doors man he's going to shut this thing up you see the lord of the it says the lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him and then at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him and sunder and will appoint him his portion with unbelievers because you really don't believe because if you believed your actions which you, you, we could see it through your actions you see, I show you my faith by my works, man. You see? And that servant which knew that, yay, man, to much is given, much is required. And that servant which knew his Lord's will. Yeah, you know you're an Israelite. You know, you know about your heart, but you know enough. Like Elder Apostle Tahar used to say, you know five scriptures. You, got, you know enough, you know, to be increasing and be trying to increase. You see? You see, if you're able body, you're sound of mind, there's no excuses, man. The Lord said, oh, that, uh, uh, I think that's Moses said that all, he wished that all the Lord's uh, men were prophets, man. You see, it's much work to be done. The, the harvest is plentiful, but the labor is a few. You see, you see, warn the people, man. Warn them, get that butt off your hands. And that servant, don't be a napkin nigar. Don't be this guy, man. All in the, caught up in the world and chasing the bag and trying to make it in corporate society or whatever, man. Don't, don't be this guy, man. You know, don't be this guy, you know, and I don't know him from a, a can of paint, but I'm, I'm using it as, as an example. OK, you know, you we want to be offending less. You see, putting on as the elect, rehearsing the righteous acts, kissing the son, least he be angry. And that servant which knew his Lord's will, we want to be watching, you know, occupying till the Lord comes. And that servant which knew his Lord's will. And prepared not himself. That's what we're doing. We're getting our household in order. We're getting our wedding garments pressed, you know, nice and clean. We're, we're, we're examining ourselves daily, you know, making sure we're on the, the right path, the straight path to the kingdom. You see, you see, you see. Hey, man, putting on the whole, putting on the whole armor, making sure we got all the the whole armor, the the shield, the buckler. We got everything, man. Cause we, hey, man, evil times are coming, you know. You know, we we, yeah, we need to be on point. We need to be circumspect, you know, and that servant would not, not, not our head shut up, shoved up Esau Edom's ass, our head shoved up our woman's ass, our head shoved up in the, in, in the, in, caught up in this world. That ain't the spirit to be in, man. You see, and that servant, which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will. And we know what the will of the Lord is. Okay. To feed his sheep. Okay. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes, because nobody's going to escape. They're all going to get that judgment. But if you knew better, you're going to get a, a much graver ass whooping. But he, that knew, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. Yeah, the two-thirds, they're going to get theirs, man. But not like somebody that took their hand from the plow. Not somebody that, not like somebody that hid that talent, you know, buried that talent. You just sat on this truth. You see? You see? Because the Lord, the, not, not the Lord is going to be even more angry with you because he's been supping with you. He's been working on your mind. He's, he's been trying to, he's been trying to deal with you. And you've just been knocking his hand away, you know? You know? The Lord is going to be angry with you, man. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. So the more you know, the more that the more that is required of you. The more you learn and the more the more you grow in this truth, the more is required of you, man. Okay? You know, and what what's the whole purpose of you getting built up? You're getting built up, you're learning to fish so that you can Go out there and, and teach others to fish and build other brothers up so and so that the elect can be sealed and, and, and the end can come. You see, we got a very important job to do, man. The most important job on the face of the earth. Okay? It starts with the servants, the prophets, the apostles, the, the, the teachers. Okay? The 144,000 men. You see? We got to comfort the, the body, the elect, the believers. 
you know we got we got to be we got to uh, break these scriptures down you know filter everything through the scriptures the news show them you see it's much work to be done man now is the time to be lax a days ago we got to be on fire man but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required and to whom men have committed much of him will they ask more and we got to be apt apt to teach ready to teach the, 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 the fruit meat for repentance you see but that's the point i i, I i'm pretty sure I, I i hit the point i made the point all right we don't want to be a napkin in the guard man we don't want to be that guy man we we don't want to be a how but him y'all shy is an austere man he's not to be played with and 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 uh he he's watching man the angels are watching they keep an account of everything man all right so store you up some righteous some righteous works man some righteous acts in heaven Okay, you know. Anyway, we're close, man. Keep pushing. Shalom. Wa abad babal.